Patrick, and may I join with you in offering our congratulations to Congressman uh, Tim Kennedy, um, replacing Congressman Higgins, so obviously one Irish American replacing another, but also from upstate New York and Buffalo, and a great Joycean scholar as well, and a great supporter of uh, the university in Buffalo. Um, and I know that he will be engaged in all things Irish because he was very much involved in the New York uh, American Irish Legislative Society, which has been there for many years. Um, today, of course, is May Day, and today the legacy bill takes full effect, uh, where many of the uh, families will no longer get justice uh, in relation to the troubles in Northern Ireland. That legacy bill led to an, a very extraordinary event in uh, August uh, 2021, where for the first time ever, all the major political parties on the island of Ireland signed one document. That event was organized in Belfast City Hall by Raymond McCord, whose son was murdered uh, by the UVF paramilitaries. And those who were involved in the killing and the organizing the killing were uh, paid informers of the British security forces. In fact, Raymond McCord was the first person ever to manage to get the police ombudswoman uh, to prove collusion in the case of the security forces with Northern Ireland, and yet no justice, yet nobody has been held accountable, nobody has been convicted, and those who supported it uh, and who allowed that murder to happen on the British security forces side uh, are still walking free. The issue also becomes the fact that in relation to um, the report done recently uh, by the British government, um, Operation Canova, which basically outlined the fact that they had infiltrated the IRA, that they were well aware of operations that either were about to happen or had happened, they knew who was involved in the killings, they allowed citizens in Northern Ireland to be killed. And yet, uh, these were supposed to be the, the agents of the state acting to protect, protect them. Uh, that document that was signed uh, was said that the British government proposal for the dealing with the past, including amnesty for those who committed murders, no individual group, organisation, state forces, agents can be immune from prosecution. Sure. Investigations, prosecutions, inquests uh, should not uh, be stopped. And that was signed by every political party, Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, the SDLP and the DUP, the UUP, the Alliance Party, Sinn Féin, and of course Fianna Fáil, and the Independent Senator Victor Boyne was there as well on that occasion. Um, so on this day of disgrace for the British government, where they are now denying justice to so many in their own state, uh, we will of course support the government's proposal to prevent that legislation through the European courts. Senator Marie